Hey guys, welcome back to the Hardware Sense channel. My name is Ivan and today we're gonna have a quick unboxing and internals overview for the HP Omen 30L. That is the brand new one that just came out. A quick look inside the box, well packaged by HP. On one side we have the power cable and the warranty information on the other side we have the keyboard and the mouse nothing special these are super basic but are good enough to get you started pull out the plastic out uh, bring up the box it's pretty heavy i have to say they did a pretty good job uh, this this computer is, has some heft so you're not going to be uh, able to easily knock it off your desk if you have it on uh, quite quite beautiful design in my humble opinion I think this is the best pre-build from any company at the moment with the addition of all that glass in the front and the side by HP I think is uh, absolutely beautiful uh, 30L obviously stands for uh, 30 liters this is uh, the volume of the case and the more volume the better uh, cooling normally that's how the, <laughs> the things go uh, you have a smaller box, the, the cooling is not as great, but you have a bigger one, kind of a big volume of air inside, so much, much better. Uh, well laid out internals, uh, bottom uh, power supply, then we have the graphics card, motherboard, you can see VRM hitsings on the motherboard. <clears throat> we have the AIO, 120 millimeter uh, mounted on the top. Uh, all custom made for uh, this HP Almond generation. Uh, a little bit different than the previous one in again my opinion this one looks absolutely stunning in my opinion that looks absolutely gorgeous i think they did a great job uh, with the design for the most part and the cable management is well uh, done pretty decent uh, kind of a plus they actually route the power sata and power data cables already to the, to the cages on the front so for you if you want to populate them with ssds or hard drives you can just uh, put one or two there uh, plug them in and off you go it's going to be a very very easy uh, upgrade for anybody to do this is probably the easiest upgrade you can do on on this specific uh, computer um, they emphasize on the almond branding as you can see we have now stickers on the exhaust fan on the pump um, on the motherboard pretty much everywhere at least I'm happy that they kept the uh, cooler master sticker on the power supply but enough for I guess overviewing the outside with the Intel inside internals we're talking about the Z490 chipset and the latest 10 generation of Intel processors the one I chose was with uh, 10 600k this is the latest uh, i5 6 core 12 threaded uh, CPU from Intel with uh, 12 uh, plus one and a half megabytes of cache. We have on the top of obviously two USB 3.1 ports, the audio ports and the power button. On the back we have audio ports, another six USB ports, USB-C as well. We have LAN, RG45 and obviously the power supply on the bottom. All right, so let's go over the internals real quick before we move on to the actual installation and testing. Uh, as you guys see, we removed the full glass panel on the third on the HP Omen uh, 30L, which stands for 30 liters, obviously for the size of the case. And uh, I gotta say, on the first uh, look, HP did a pretty good job with this edition of the Omen. Uh, obviously, you guys know the previous uh, model was called the Obelisk. Uh, I think they dropped that name, and uh, now it's just called the Omen 30L. But uh, as you can see, right on top, we have the O and One water cooling. Uh, this one, I believe, is made uh, by. Uh, Cooler Master, I think HP have some good relationship with Cooler Master uh, and a lot of their components are made by them. Uh, another great thing to see right away is the inclusion of these uh, VRM heat sinks. So the VRM heat sinks uh, is something I really want to see uh, from more and more company added, especially those pre-builds. Uh, obviously when you are having uh, something like uh, this board, you know, Z490, the latest Intel chipset, uh, and you're planning to overclock, you need to have some better uh, cooling solution for these VRMs. So that's a great addition. Uh, they redesigned the look of their pump. 
the previous generation the tubes were red and the pump was um, a little bit more flat and kind of with the logo uh, with uh, the omen logo which is this one right here it was kind of sitting right there but now it just says omen and the trim around is rgb uh, they really invested a lot on rgb but i'm going to show you guys when they turn it on how everything looks uh, moving down uh, we have the first nvme slot and interesting uh, to mention they're not populating this one but rather the other one which is below the graphics card um, and uh, the graphics card is the same uh, one that you guys seen in my previous videos with uh, the hp uh, pavilion gaming desktop that's the uh, 1660 ti exactly the same made by foxconn for hp uh, for these pre-builds uh, the reason for me going with this one is because it was the cheapest possible uh, if they have an option not to have a graphics card i would have uh, taken it away anyway uh, just to keep the price down uh, and the main logic behind that is probably most of you are aware uh, but nvidia is about to end amd as, as well about to release a new generation of graphics cards where which are coming within a couple of months so buying a new graphics card now it's kind of a waste of money unless you really really need one because you don't have uh, or you find a great deal secondhand or you know great deal period i don't advise you going ahead and buying a graphics card at this moment uh, so this one i can always use on another computer uh, and those of you that uh, want to wait for the next uh, generation you can get it with this and further down the line uh, just in a couple months sell it for around 200 dollars and add it to uh your budget for the new graphics card so yeah this is uh this is what i chose for me this was the basic uh, uh kind of a configuration for the 30l uh for me i chose to not change anything basically the only two things i upgraded was the power supply which uh this one is the upgraded one 750 watt uh cooler master again 80 uh, plus platinum uh, always get the bigger power supply if you have the option because it's future proof that way whatever comes whatever generation comes in the future you're going to be able to add a better graphics card uh, more powerful for me that was uh, the first thing i wanted to upgrade and the other thing uh, was the wireless card which uh, you can barely see right here but if i move the camera a little bit you will be able to see it right there uh, this is the the latest uh, Intel Wi-Fi 6 AX201 wireless Bluetooth combo card right there, two and two. This was another easy upgrade because it was only $10 and I'd rather have the Intel one uh, than uh, the Realtek, which is the basic. And those are the only two things I changed. Everything else is uh, kind of at the basic configuration for the Omen 30L, the Intel edition that just came out. Now, price $1,100 a lot of you will say well for this money you can probably build yourself one uh, trust me I, I did the numbers I did the calculations and you can probably fit in this budget by yourself building with the same components uh, but you're not gonna save a lot of money probably 50 60 dollars less maybe but it's for me it's not worth it and I'd rather show you something like this where a lot of people are gonna buy and talk about it if you guys have seen my previous videos we're going to do modifications changes upgrades all kind of stuff so there will be a huge coverage on this specific uh, version of the hp almond 30l uh, i was waiting for the intel version because i already have an amd based uh, editing machine so i really didn't need another amd machine i just wanted to get that uh, latest 10 generation intel so i can use it for uh, gaming only and as a processor i chose the 10600k uh, this is was the cheapest option uh, of course at the time you could have chose uh, 10700k as well which is i7 or i9 10900 um, but further down maybe a couple of weeks after that uh, SKU came out the 10900 disappeared um, recently i checked even the 10600 disappeared and at the moment you can only configure it with uh, i7 10, uh, 10700 um, the other things that disappeared from configurations all bunch of graphics cards were available at the time you could have chose 2080 super 2070 super 2060 super 1660 ti and 2080 ti 
Uh, now the 27 Super and the 2080 Super are gone. I guess they ran out of quantities. So you only can get this 2060 Super and 2080 Ti. Uh, so maybe further down the line, I'm sure HP will restock and have uh, more. But at the moment, this is what they have. What else to mention? The biggest, the biggest, the biggest change for this specific generation is the addition of this front panel, which is uh, perforated, very wide. And we're gonna measure to see what exactly the thickness is. And the biggest addition is this front uh, 12 millimeter intake uh, fan, which is again, Cooler Master RGB. Uh, obviously we're big on RGB these days, but it is what it is. But the biggest thing for me is how much space they give you in the front. And actually they're not suff suffocating this fan. Uh, and making it uh, really uh, useful. So if we measure it uh, now, we're looking at six centimeters and this is about two inches and something. So a little over two inches. So six centimeters, this is plenty of space. Uh, the actual fan is mounted outside and the fan is 25 millimeters. So you have uh, plenty of room, uh, another three and a half uh, on top of that two and a half from the fan. So this fan is not gonna, not gonna suffocate at all like many other manufacturers of cases uh, give you an inch, not even an inch, or, you know, in, in good scenarios, you get an inch and you're still gonna suffer, but this is great, great, great. I wanna test it and see how it really uh, is gonna perform. Uh, but uh, this is one of the best additions that uh, HP did for this generation. And I'm extremely happy that their, their engineers are finally listening. Now, what we'd like to see for the future is maybe removing this uh, uh, drive cage right here, leaving only the top one and putting another 120 millimeter uh, fan right here in the back. Uh, that will make it ideal for better, uh, perfect intake uh, cooling solution because uh, the more air you're pushing, the better. Uh, you're gonna have that positive pressure. And right now, I'm not sure if there's gonna be enough because you have uh, 120 millimeter uh, fan right here on top. Uh, on the AIO that sucks the air out. And then you have the 92 millimeter uh, fan right here on the back, uh, which is another Foxconn fan. Uh, just this time at least they put a sticker on top of it, uh, on the back of it that says Omen, and it's uh, kind of a branded, but uh, not enough, at least in my opinion. Now, if I reposition the camera a little bit here, you're gonna see uh, there's definitely a space that future, in the future, next uh, editions maybe, HP can move this fan slightly up and then add another one. Same size, just put them one on top of each other. I think that's gonna be optimal. Uh, the cooling will be a lot better. Uh, just run them in slower RPMs. I think it's gonna be a lot more efficient. And these are the two things right off the bat I can say in the future they can improve. But again, I'm very pleased with what they've done so far, especially with the addition of this fan right there in the front. Uh, We'll, we'll test and see how the temperatures are, but I know one of the biggest problems of the previous generation HP uh, Obelisk, that was the uh, cooling because there was almost no intake. It was all passive. Uh, we, they just rely on fans to uh, suck out the air out and, and this way uh, it was not enough. Uh, another great addition is uh, there are feet that are underneath the case now are higher. Uh, think about half an inch before they were super tiny. Uh, still, I don't advise you putting this uh, on a carpet because still you're gonna kind of suffocate uh, the intake for the power supply. Um, if you're putting it down on the floor, at least put some plywood or something on top of the carpet so it will be raised up. I'm personally planning to keep it on top of a desk, so it'll be fine. There's plenty of room right here for air to come to the power supply and kind of uh, be uh, passively vented through here because this is a giant mesh that is kind of completely open. You can see my fingers underneath probably. Uh, I'm kind of glad that they included these brackets. This is a support bracket for longer cards. And this is for shorter cards. Uh, obviously, if you upgrade your graphics card, you can remove this one if you want to, or this one if you want to, but uh, you can keep them and support your cards if you think they're too heavy and it's gonna dro uh, droop. Uh, personally, uh, I am going to test this system the way it is uh, with this card. But again, we're gonna compare it to the HP Pavilion gaming desktop. We're gonna throw in the RTX 2070 that I have. We're gonna throw in the RTX 2060. We'll see how everything scales. We're gonna do all kinds of testing, all kinds of games. You guys know 
I'm uh, here to show you everything possible you can do. I'm already thinking about some modifications that I can do. Uh, those are for future videos. Uh, hopefully I, I can show you everything possible to uh, kind of uh, prepare you if you are going to buy this one or if you're trying to make a decision if you want to buy this one and something else. I personally, with my experience in so many, many years of computer building and buying, uh, I think this is at the moment the best looking pre-built, uh, better looking the alien wires with some of the um, Dell computers, which I'm a huge fan as well, but uh, I'm not a huge fan of the new designs with all the plastic and you know no windows or anything like this. I think HP uh, lead them with this uh, glass side panel and glass front panel. I think this is a great touch. Everybody wants to see that. And everything else is performance. Uh, you know, you're gonna be test we're gonna be testing the overclocking capabilities with the software they provide you. We're gonna look at all kinds of options here. And last thing to mention is the RAM. I only grabbed the version with one stick of uh, HyperX uh, 3200 megahertz DDR4 RAM. And that's it for now.